ร้องเรียนวอตส์อัพเอเวอร์วันมายเนมอิสบรอกคาร์ดและผมมาที่จะพาคุณมาที่ห้องของ YouTube ช่องนี้ตอนนี้ช่องยูทูบของเราถูกสร้างขึ้นเพื่อนำข่าวของผู้หญิงผู้หญิงผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและผู้หญิงและ In the early 1800s and 1900s, as a man who performs in a circus and who is very strong, well, these men aren't exactly performing in circuses anymore. And right here we have Louis Sear, a Canadian strongman, actually lifting a dumbbell named after him, the Sear dumbbell, which weighs in at 273 and a quarter pounds. Now that's no uh, light weight right there, and there's a lot of strongmen that still struggle with this today. But that's just one. Uh, Old strong man. We're gonna talk about another one real quick too, and someone you may have heard of before as well, and that would be Thomas Inch. Now Thomas Inch is famous for the Thomas Inch dumbbell. Now what makes that dumbbell so unique is not its weight; it only weighs in at 172 pounds, but it's the width of that handle. That handle is nearly two and a half inches, and it is an extreme test of grip strength. So it makes it very difficult to pick up. So those are two older strong men. Um, and then right here we have pictured Bruce Wilhelm, an American strongman, and he was the first winner of the world's strongest man in 1977. But how do we know what the world's strongest man is? How do we measure that? Well, let's talk about some of the uh, events that you may see in a strongman competition. All right, so common strongman events. Now remember, these aren't limited to. What's nice about strongman is that you can really kind of make up your own event and put people's uh, strength to test. Right. But these are the most common ones. First, we have the deadlift. Now, deadlift comes in very many different variations. All right, so we have just the regular deadlift, of course, straight off the ground, and then we have a a lot of variations of partial deadlifts. Okay, um, whether it be the Hummer tire deadlift, the Silver Dollar deadlift, the Axle deadlift, um, they all have their own records as well. So you'll see these uh, at a lot of different events. Now, with that being said. All of these implements, they may be for time, they could be for reps, or they could be for max weight. So next, we have the overhead press with the axle log, and sometimes we'll see that done for reps, and sometimes we'll see that done for max reps. We have the dumbbell overhead press, um, same thing. Super yoke. Now, super yoke. Just imagine a bar that goes across your back, and attached to it, going down to the ground, are some weights. All right. Now, currently. Um, most super yokes are running anywhere from a thousand to twelve hundred pounds. That's a lot of weight, and they're walking with this anywhere, usually from fifteen meters to twenty-five meters. Next, we have the frame carry, which can get very heavy, up upwards of nine hundred pounds. Farmer's carry, which is similar to the frame, a little different. Atlas stones. Atlas stones are a staple in strongman. Uh, as a matter of fact, they've been in nine of the last ten world's strongest man finals competitions. Um, and these range anywhere from 200 to nearly 500 pounds, and usually have between five and six of them to pick up and load. You have a vehicle pool. The vehicle pools are very cool to watch. Now that could be as simple as pulling a, a semi truck, as simple as right, as if that was simple. All right, uh, a bus, or it could even be a plane. Yes, a plane. Upwards of 70,000 pounds. Some of these strongmen have pulled. Um, It is incredible to see, and we'll see some pictures of that later on. We have a keg block toss. Simply, you toss it up in the air, normally about uh, 15 feet, and uh, these range anywhere from about 20 to 50 pounds, depending on the competition. And they've been heavier before than that too. Squat lifts, which has a lot of different variations, and we're going to see a picture later on that is an extremely cool squat, and it's not something that you've probably ever seen before. We have arm over arm pulls. We have a stone carry, loading races. Fingal's fingers. Uh, simply, it's you pick up one side of this long log, right, uh, and then you have to push it over, and they get very heavy. Power stairs. You're picking up weights and going upstairs with them. Uh, the pillars of Hercules. You stand in between two pillars and you hold onto them. It's a test of grip strength. Um, incredible scene to watch. And then you have the Will of Pain, which is something that's been instituted in the uh, Arnold Strongman Classic, and. It's extremely painful for these athletes, I and mean, the burn that they get while competing in some of these events is intense. Okay, as is the competition. So, 
We talked about some of the strongman events, right? Let's talk about some of the most famous strongman athletes. And first up, we're going to have five times world strongest man, Marius Pujanowski of Poland. He has won world strongest man five times. Five times. The most of anybody. Okay? Now, you can see here on the left, he's actually doing a bus pull right there or a truck pull. You can see he's got a, a harness on and it's hooked up to the bus. And he's using his legs and he's using his arms uh, to drive with the legs and pull with the arms and get that bus moving. And then they have to go a certain distance and whoever does it the fastest is the winner. And then on the right hand side, we have him doing a farmer's carry. Um, and normally those can go uh, upwards to 400 pounds per hand. Uh, another grip strength test and also a speed test as well. Next up, we have four time world strongest man, John Paul Sigmerson of Iceland. Um, this man loved to compete and he loved to lift. All right. He was once quoted as saying, "There's no re if you can't deadlift, then there's no reason to live. All right? And sadly, in 1993, um, in his 30s, he did pass away while lifting. Uh, I believe he was actually deadlifting in his gym. Um, he did have some congenial heart failure as well, and that may have played a role in it. Um, but he was a showman for sure, loved to compete, and uh, rest in peace. Next up, we have four-time world's strongest man, Magnus Vervagnason of Iceland. Okay? Another Icelandic. Um, Dominated in the 90s, uh, really good athlete. You can see here he's actually doing a tractor pull um, there on the left-hand side, and he's doing a keg toss over there on the right-hand side. Um, the keg tosses are really interesting to watch because you would think that it might be the strongest guy that can lift those up and over, and it, there's actually a lot of technique involved in doing so. And and you'll be surprised a lot of strongman events require a lot of technique. It's not just brute strength, right? You can't just pick something up super heavy and put it back down again. There is some technique involved in a lot of these lifts. Next up, we're going to have four-time world's strongest man, Zadrunas Aviscus of Lithuania. Um, you can see right here on the right-hand side, he is pressing a Slater log over his head, the Austrian Oak of the Arnold Strongman Classic. And Zadrunas is the current world record holder for the heaviest log lifted overhead has incredible uh, pressing power. You can see on the right-hand side, he's doing a deadlift. That's another variation of a deadlift. Um, extremely strong. And Zadrunas was super competitive in the late 2000s and early 2010s. Now, with that being said, the next athlete is someone that he went head-to-head -head with on a yearly basis at multiple different contests. And that is going to be four times world's strongest man, Brian Shaw. Now you can see here, Brian Shaw on the left-hand side is doing a Hummer tire deadlift. And that particular lift, he's lifting 1,040 pounds. And at the time, that would be the world record. Now that would later be broken by Sojournus. And I believe it was 1,155 pounds. And in a later episode, we're going to cover who actually just broke that record this, uh, this month. All right. Uh, you can see over on the right-hand side, uh, Brian is doing a actual overhead press. So... Um, he's a pretty good presser as well, especially with dumbbells. He's definitely a dumbbell specialist when it comes to pressing things overhead. Him and Zandrunas, I would have to say, they have my argument for being the best strongman of all time. Why? Well, because these guys went to head to head for years and years and years. 2010, Zandrunas wins on a count back. All right, they were tied for first. 2011, Brian wins. 2012, Big Z wins. Uh, 2013, uh, Brian wins, I believe 2014, Big Z wins again, and then 2015 and 2016, Brian Shaw wins, right? Um, so um, these guys have gone head-to-head, -head, two of the greatest strongmen of all time, in my opinion. Um, incredible to watch, incredible to watch. All right, and then next up, we have three-time World's Strongest Man, Bill Kazmaier. Now, Bill Kazmaier was the first person to ever win the World's Strongest Man three other times, okay? Or, excuse me, three times in a row. Uh, Magnus Magnuson was also the, the second person to ever win it three times in a row. Now, here we have the squat lift over here on the left-hand side. This is what I was talking a little bit about earlier. He's squatting four women on his shoulders. This is an interesting-looking lift, and I love to see it. I love these oddball lifts. Um, Strongman definitely has become more standardized, um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, and it does help create world records and create some sort of standard for them to follow. But seeing these oddball lifts like this, there's no other site like it. And hopefully we start seeing more of these. Um, hopefully they gain some traction and we start to see some more stuff. Um, on the right-hand side, you can see an Atlas stone being lifted by him. Uh, a great strong man. And uh, 
he's still he's still uh, with us today. I think he does some commentating every now and then, some refereeing. Uh, Max for Vagnuson is also another referee. Um, very strict. Uh, he was doing world's ultimate strongman was doing a series this year and he was one of the referees. Um, so, and most recently he was at the Shaw classic as a commentator and having someone who's a four times world strongest man as a commentator and giving you some insight into events and everything. That was great to see. Um, great to learn from. So, uh, hopefully you found this video interesting. Um, this is just a brief, brief history of what world's strongest man is and what strong man is in general. Now, upcoming uh we will have some guests on board and we will be doing some uh videos talking about uh past events uh we're gonna be talking about past world records current world records um upcoming events and predictions so all those videos will be coming out soon um this is just the first one to try to get people to understand what exactly is strong man strong man is a fascinating sport to me it's not like powerlifting where you're stuck in three different lifts okay which i enjoy powerlifting as well but you can only squat bench and deadlift right? This is testing an athlete in multiple different disciplines at the same time. Who is the strongest man in the world? Okay. So smash that like button. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe for future episodes because we'll be having a lot of content coming out soon. Go out and be strong and we'll check you guys later.